In today's video, we are going to be looking at Prezi and how you can use Prezi to create amazing presentations using their new Prezi AI. Now, this video was kindly sponsored by the people over at Prezi, so they've given me access to the full version so I can show you exactly what they have to offer. Let's jump onto the computer and get started. Now here I am in my main Prezi interface and as always the case at the start of the school year we have a lot of presentations we might want to update or create. Now in order to get started the first thing I'm going to do is here on the left hand side I'm going to click on new presentation. This is now going to give me a number of options. I can still start from scratch, use a template or convert a existing PowerPoint. However, today we're going to be looking at Prezi AI. So here it says create with AI. Let's go ahead and click on that and we get two options. We can start with an idea, prompt Prezi AI, or we can use an existing file and use the information in that file to create our presentation. Today I'm going to demonstrate both of these. So let's do the first one first and let's start with an idea. Now this is where I'm going to put my prompt. Now for the sake of this demonstration, I've already prepared a couple of prompts. You can find those in the description below. This is an open file. You can access these prompts to see exactly how I've created this prompt. I'm going to use this first one. I would like to have a presentation. This is a Common Core X5 classifying symbiotic relationships for grade six. So let's go ahead and copy this prompt and we are going to paste it in here. Now, don't worry, it's not going to start creating the presentation just yet because Prezi AI is going to create an outline. You can then tweak that outline, add in your own talking points and move things around. So let's go ahead and do that. Here you can see it's going to introduce the symbiotic relationships, what is symbiosis, types of these relationships, mutualism, commensalism, parasitism. Okay, it's going over those three. Then we have the importance of the relationships, real life examples, a visual representation, summary and key takeaway. See, I'm going to add a talking point. I'm going to add an 11th talking point, key vocabulary. So there's some key vocabulary I want my students to have about this topic. Okay, we now have 11 talking points. We can either go back and start all over again, or we can create the presentation. Now I'm going to click on create presentation and you'll see on the right hand side it's going to start putting this together. It's going to take assets, it's going to take images, a combination of images from various libraries and AI generated images. It's also going to use your talking points to add information to the various slides. Now, if you are familiar with Prezi, Prezi presents its slideshows in a very different way. So that's the real power behind this. Let's have a look at it. You can see it's fine tuning a couple things, adding in a couple more images. And what we can do now is we can select the key design. Again, this presentation is not in the editor mode yet because first on the right hand side, we are going to choose our design. It has come up with these AI suggested designs. You can see this globe, we have this hand design, this design, or the mushroom design. I quite like this design, but I think it's a bit dark. So what we can do now is we can choose the different color palettes. So I can go and look at the ones that it's suggesting. This one's quite nice. This one's okay as well. Let's go with this light color. Now, if you did not like any of the suggestions, what you can do here is on the top, you can see we can revert to the original colors or we can create a new palette. Same with the design, revert to the original or get some new design suggestions. So that is something that you can do before you even jump into the editor. Now let's preview what it's created. So you can see here we have that main title, understand symbiotic relationships. Let's go to the first section, understanding the relationships. Gives us a little bit of an overview, some images. Now don't worry, we can tweak these images later once we jump into the editor. So for now, we're going to leave all the images as they are. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. What is symbiosis? This is probably to signify that this is a discussion. We can change that image later. Let's go ahead and look at what it has. Okay, main definition, mutualism, commensalism, parasitism, perfect. It jumps to these types, gives some ideas. It goes to various more detailed descriptions. Again, a bunch of images. We can change these later. A definition, another example, parasitism, 
Then we have some important things, the past contributions, present impact, future conservation, the impact on our environment and how it's impacting the ecosystems, real life examples, summary, goes into that summary of symbiosis and symbiotic relationships and some key vocabulary as I asked. And then here we have that key vocabulary, which brings us to the end of our presentation. Okay, I'm happy with what I've seen. Now I'm going to go into the editor and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the bits I do not need. So here on the left-hand side, you can see it had some pointers as to how we might teach this in class. That does not need to be in my presentation. So I can click on those three dots and I can remove this from my timeline. Here we can see another one. We do not need that in our timeline. Let's remove that. Let's remove this one from our timeline and let's add, remove this frame as well. That means that we now go from our real life examples straight to the next part, the symbiotic relationships. In the editor itself, we can still see this section. So what we can do is we can simply highlight that and we can just remove that. We no longer need this entire frame. So that can just be removed from the presentation. We can always move frames around seeing as we are in the editor and this will not impact the way it flows. It'll simply jump from frame to the next frame, regardless of where we've put this on our editor. The rest of the edits can be done in Prezi as you would usually do. And then once you're ready here at the top, you can view the preview. So when you click on that, you're in the full page preview, full screen preview. You can always jump back to the edit. Let's say that you're ready to present. Well, then Prezi comes with a number of options. When you click on present, you can start a presentation. You can have that presenter view. The presenter view will give you access to your notes on a separate screen, or you can record this as a video. And this is where you have, again, multiple options. When you record as a video, you can narrate your presentation. Everything stays the same. Audio is recorded or you can appear alongside your content. Now, if you are going to appear alongside your content, this will require a slight redesign of the entire presentation, because as you can see here, I'm just going to show you the demonstration of this and turn my camera on. You appear behind all the elements. So in order for this to work, you would have to make sure everything is designed in a way so you can jump from frame to frame without blocking that camera view. That's one thing to be aware of. This was the first way that you can create presentations within Prezi with Prezi AI, and it automatically generates those frames based on your prompts. However, if you recall, we had a second way of creating a presentation, and that is by using existing documents. This is even more powerful. So let me show you what you can do. Here, I'm going to click on start from a file, and now I can drag and drop that file in here. Now I have this file prepared and this is computing key figures for our unit. I'm going to drag and drop this in and I'm going to show you what the information in this file actually says. We have an overview of some key figures in computer science that we are going to cover this year. All this information is going to be pulled into Prezi. So here you can see Prezi AI has access to all the information. I can tweak this, I can change this. And then eventually at the end, I can click on create an outline. This is now going to go through the exact same process. Creates an outline. I can revise this outline. If I'm happy with it, I can add talking points, go back or create that presentation. It is going to use all the information it has. It's going to use some images. It's going to pull in those images. It's going to add text and content. And here we are. It's adding those final touches. So now we are going to see a preview of the presentation in Prezi that it has designed. Okay, so it's come up with a couple of different things here. I've got some different designs. This time let's use the AI to get some new suggestions. We need to click on this icon here. It's giving me some new suggestions, some new suggestions, some new suggestions. I'm going to select this one here. It's going to fine tune that design, tweak the images, tweak the design. Give me some color schemes. So here you can have three different color schemes. I'm going to go with this second one here and I am going to preview it. Let's go ahead and have a look. Pioneers. Okay, we've got some images there. The first, Hedy Lamar. 
very important. We've got all the information we need. Obviously, double check everything. This is still AI. You want to double check all the information before you use it. And you can see everything is according to that outline and those key figures in our unit. Let's go to the editor. Once you're happy, same process. At the top, you can present this and you can even share this. Now, you can get a link. This is a link to your presentation. You can broadcast that link. That means it goes live. People can access it from the link, follow along on their own devices, and then you can stop that broadcast. You can enter the QR code. This is a very easy way of sharing. Or you can export this to a PDF file, which is a more traditional way of presenting this information. So all in all, I think an amazing platform, definitely one to check out at the start of the school year, one that I will be using a lot to reimagine some of my older presentations. I have a bunch of presentations that I really would like to update, maybe make them look a bit newer, a bit fresher. Well, this is the way that you can do that using Prezi AI in seconds. I hope you found this helpful. A big thank you to Prezi for sponsoring this video, giving me full access to the platform. And I also want to thank all our channel members and Patreon supporters for making it possible to continuously create new content each and every week. If you too would like to become part of that growing community, links to both will be in the description below. You get early access to videos. And if you are a Patreon supporter, you'll get access to additional files and everything is completely ad-free free. Now, I hope you found this helpful. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.